right, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Craven Some Raven. And dick this, Picks! This is going to be the week three Dick Picks episode, and if you're unfamiliar because you saw the title and thought, what the hell is this guy talking about? Dick, Wick, dick Picks week three? Well, this I'm is, rich, you're rich, this yeah, is Dick Picks. This is Dick Picks. Double Richard, let's go. Two dicks in the hole. Um, <laughs> well, we're going, this, it, basically, we're picking games, we place our bets, at a casino, maybe online. We're playing some bets, we're picking games, we're talking NFL in general in this episode. I know it's a Ravens forward podcast, but we will be taking a deep dive into each and every game, and I believe we will be talking about the Ravens a little bit, especially with this matchup coming up this week. Uh, one of the premier games, uh, we'll probably dive into a little bit of Antonio Brown, maybe some Jalen Ramsey, and who else? Who else? What happened with Antonio game? Brown? Anything Anything new? <laughs> no, no, I think he's killing it with the ladies. Yeah. He's killing it. Anything new? That dude just has a new story every out, out like every two hours. I, I don't, I don't get it. It's, it's madness. Well, we'll get into yeah, it. Yeah, we'll get into that. But you know, we got to review how we've done in the past. You know, because you can't, you can't tell your future without dissecting the past. Kind of call ourselves out a little bit too yeah, for we our gotta, bullshit. Yeah, we got, we've made some mistakes. But me personally, I didn't make too many mistakes because last week, coming off of the first week going 9-7, and seven, you know, not bad, possibly a playoff team. The second week coming on strong with an 11-5 and five record. Let's go! That's a two-game differential. Yeah. I did the same turnaround. Yeah, but you know what? 11-5, <laughs> that is a possible first-round buy depending on the division and how the Unless conference Unless you're the OA Pats. That's true. Yeah. But you know what? I'll take it where I can get it. And I'm thinking this week we might improve even more. I'm think I'm getting dialed into this season, really understanding how how teams are playing, where the upset might lie, and that's kind of the big thing. Because there's upsets every week. Yeah. And it's trying to identify now, which now we teams can see them. That with two weeks, we see the board. Two weeks in the books in the book, we can uh, really start charting this pretty well. So whoever's playing the Dolphins. Just the rest of the year on the dick picks, I'm taking the team playing against the Dolphins. So you went nine and seven, I went eleven and five. There's a few games I think we should talk about. Uh, the first one, that Thursday night game, Panthers Bucks. We both got that one wrong. The Panthers should have won that, but obviously I think the Panthers, especially now with Cam Newton out, they're looking like trash. Yeah, that's one of those that fucked us. We should have won that. And it didn't feel like the Bucks really did enough to like earn that win. No, the Panthers lost that. Yeah. And like Christian McCaffrey in fantasy, what like six points? I have him in two of my leagues, and what a disappointment. That being said, the Bucks defense had shown up early the first two weeks, exactly. and that was a great fucking plan. I mean, force Cam Newton to throw and take away McCaffrey. You you fucking handcuff the Panthers. Really fucked them, obvious. And then not to make it on that fourth and one. Yeah. Big and, disappointment. And apparently, through two weeks, Cam Newton is the least accurate quarterback oh, when it comes to it. just like. Did you see? Did like, you see some of those like? Oh, they, they were wide open. It looked like his college throws. What everyone was concerned at, about out of college is like, yeah, he's an amazing athlete. Can he learn to throw? And it, he's still. He's playing like same. everyone expected Lamar yeah. to play, but you know, I need, yes. it seemed like something was up with him because watching that game anytime he break the huddle he stays on his knee for like an extra second and you know just doing the eye test it's like what what is this guy doing he's slow to get up from just calling the play in the huddle it's like what are you doing bro i kind of thought that was just like <coughs> a, a second to like collect his thoughts i don't know because he's thinking in his head oh yeah fuck. get your head in the game yeah you know or he yeah something something's off that he needs to rally himself an extra second uh yeah. So, another game from last week I want to talk about is the, where is it, which one am I thinking of? The Broncos versus the Bears. Because, wow, what a finish. And what a Joe Flacco style of game to lose, too. Dude. That is something I do not miss as a Ravens fan. Because that, yeah. I don't know if it's a team loss, but Joe, that seems to happen to Joe Flacco. Where he doesn't do enough in the first basically first three quarters first three quarters in 10 minutes and then he turns it on gets yeah. his team in position and then the it's defense robbed. fails and then yeah. gets robbed by some crazy calls Dude, and then, it's just a that was thing. the best ending that was up there with the uh saints texans ending of that might have even been better 
because the missed kick. Yeah. With the penalties, and they run. All right. From double so doink to I, game I have game. a fucking hilarious story about that game. I was listening to it while I was moving, and I had the Bears at two. So I took the Bears um, by two. Okay. And they were winning all game. All game. It, like, it felt so secure. Flacco couldn't move the ball. Then yeah, all yeah. of a sudden, they go down, tied, or not tied up, get it within one, decide to go for two. Then they have that penalty, and, like, the entire time, I'm fucking losing my mind. Like, Live it. am I going to fucking lose this shit? So they end up getting um, the missed field goal. Then they get the two. I'm fucking hating myself. I'm like, there's no way Trubisky can get this ball down the field. I turn it off. Pissed. Yep. And then wait a couple of minutes. Of course, I naturally just wonder what's going on <laughs> or what interviews are going on. They're talking to Flacco. Turn yeah. it on. And it's right as the announcer is saying, Panero's lining up for the kick. And I was like, what? What the what? fuck? Panero. And he fucking nails it. Panera, Brad Bowl, it's good. And I won the money. And it was yo. Yeah. I and I and I won money. It was it was awesome. Yeah, there's nothing like having money on a game. I'll be even if you bet a couple yeah. bucks, the adrenaline is still there. When you have money on a game, even if it's only it five it. bucks, what it, a it is coaster. so exciting. I quit gambling and fell in love with it in Four minutes span, even more, if that's possible. <laughs> yeah, it was holy shit, awesome. So we're only like what, like this is gonna be the third week into things, and we we dove into the gambling, sports gambling, like kind of dicks first, you know, heads first. This yeah, is I said you know, the, dick. I picks. was bold, sent the pick. We <laughs> just gotta go into it. Got to take a chance. <laughs> she said you up, so you know, I felt a little frisky. Felt I like I get away with one. I definitely said you up. And then sent the pick, and he didn't. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't respond, yeah, so exactly. I don't know what to think. About That's that. gambling. She's really pissed, actually. Uh, <laughs> but you know, sending a but dick pic. But every now and then, gamble. you get that miracle. Panera, Brad Bull just nails it. So you parlayed the dick pic with the you up text, and yeah. you thought that, that's high risk but high the reward. Oh, dude, that's the that's the sh- you're shooting your <laughs> ultimate shot, and this is all on the table. <laughs> This is a win or lose bet, and you put a lot of money too if you're parlaying that. But so let's there, go next. Were there any other games you want to talk about? Those are just kind of the big ones. Um, obviously, the Pats covered. Did they cover? Oh yeah, that's right. Oh yeah, it was a shutout. Yeah. Forty what? Forty three or forty to zero. So who has the better offense, uh, Ravens? Or... I don't give a fuck about offense. <laughs> the Pats' defense hasn't given up a touchdown since the fourth quarter of the AFC Championship. They had yeah, 180 awesome. minutes of shutout but football. I think we talked about that like, uh, before the season. I know you talked about it. That the Patri- Patriots defense, that's what's going to carry that's this team this carrying. year. It, they are holy fuck scary. Now, the their opponents, you can argue, haven't been as good yet. Yeah, but I don't give a shit about that because they are dominating them the way good defenses destroy shit teams. Exactly. The Dolphins... Couldn't get a first down. Mm-hmm. They couldn't. They couldn't do anything. And you know, it was it's amazing like, to watch. Oh, these teams are terrible. Part of that argument, it's like, well, it's only been two weeks, and they're yeah. terrible because half the stats go against the team that destroyed them. Exactly. So it's like, how bad are they? We haven't yeah. really, really seen them. But so it goes both ways, you know. This, how good are they? It's been two weeks, or how bad are they? It's only been two weeks. That was that was the best dollar fifty I ever won. Was the Patriots covering? The odds were terrible. <laughs> <laughs> and they were so heavily favored. Yeah, dude, I can't believe they covered. <laughs> yeah. That was so hilarious. So, yeah, let's just get into this upcoming week because that's what this is about. This is about the We're going to recap a lot of these teams, and I'm sure a lot of the past shit anyway. So yeah, we'll, we'll, into... we'll touch on it, you know? We'll be like a pastor and one of his, uh, one of the kids there. I don't know, we're altar boys. We'll, we'll touch on it. We'll touch on it a little bit. Just a little. Because these games are tight. <laughs> tight as hell. <laughs> What's first? We already uh, picked one, right? Yeah, so the first game, obviously, is the Thursday night game. We were recording this on Friday, so the game has already happened. But in my previous episode, I did say that we both picked the Jags. Uh, just to get it out of the way and say, hey, we're not lying when we pick these games. That's why I, I text you, you and said, hey, 
He's like, you were like, I got the, the chew. <laughs> yeah. I got the chew. <laughs> I'm going with the chew. And I was the right there with you. And yeah. I, I bet them to uh, cover the spread at plus two. And I thought they were going to win, but I thought just the safer bet, the plus two. And they they covered that and then some. Picked up DJ Chark in my fantasy leagues. I ended up not playing him just to like you know have one more week of a buffer to see how he does, and he's proven that he's producing at a high worthy level. of the weight. Man, the Titans are doing the most Titan seasons possible. Like they go into Cleveland, fucking win that game. It's a blowout late tight game, but blowout late, and then just underwhelm back to back weeks. Marcus Mariota is getting exposed. Yeah, the Titans need to. You know, listen to their own words and tighten up because they they are all over the place when it comes to what they do on the field. Wasn't they, that an insurance company? Tighten up of insurance. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I think it's like it's for the whores. You know, tighten up, you okay. loose ass. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> the who is all the who is are too loose. That's a plastic surgery doctor's office. <laughs> yeah, <it's laughs> tighten up bow ties. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like Deion Sanders, because I don't know if because I remember seeing it was after the first week, Lamar got the call. You know, you ball, you get the call. And I was looking at Dion, and I was like, something's wrong with your face. And I, I literally Googled <laughs> Dion Sanders' plastic surgery, and apparently he's, like, addicted to Botox now, and he's, like, all up front and, like, open about it. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah. Is it like that? <clears throat> I don't think so. Because <laughs> yeah. I could tell. So yeah. like something's wrong well, I mean, with your face. he looks terrible, but I mean, meth heads look terrible, and they still keep doing meth. So I mean, uh, so yeah, I'm so asking feeling, like, yeah. how worth it? Are they just like I couldn't do a needle in the face though? That sounds like the scariest thing possible. Yeah, no, never done it. Never done meth or heroin, but you know they're good when people are just so openly just ruining their lives yeah. doing it. Willing to go ugly for it. I will. You know what? That look, it kind of sucks, but you know what? It feels so <laughs> yeah, goddamn good. Yeah. Put my tap dancing <laughs> shoes on and shoot up some heroin. Like, uh, <laughs> ew, ew. Is, is meth and heroin, if you combine those, what is it? Is that like a, that's not a speedball. That's something else. I think that's that's something like cocaine. Else, but it's so long as upper downer. Yeah. 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 Call him the two shoot. Uh, it's a two shooter. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> We're, so we're talking American football. American football. Let's, <laughs> let's stay on subject. There's no way we stay on subject. Yeah. <laughs> so the next game uh, I have on this list is a morning game: Lions versus Eagles. And I think this is going to be one of the better games of the week. I, I just have a feeling, just because I think the original Eagles, football teams Eagles have been overhyped. Uh, all off You've been season, saying that for a couple weeks. And their defense has kind of been trash. Defense and it, is it, trash. And it proved last week. Who are their week. running backs? It doesn't seem like they have a running game. You know, they, they're the offseason, the it's like yeah. all these guys. They had like six guys at running backs in the preseason. Like all these guys could be starters. You know, the classic preseason quote, well, this guy could play in this league. He's going to play yeah. somewhere on a roster. He's gonna be he could be somewhere. a starter on about 20 these teams guys in the NFL. These suck. Like, no, they're not producing. I think maybe it's a combination of O-line or whatever, but... The Eagles, as of right now, they they don't work well as a were they as dumb a high to team, trade like, Nick Foles? Yeah, I think so. Do you see the, the shots all time that, quarterback for the Eagles, the greatest quarterback in Eagles history, Nick hey, Foles? Carson Wentz was taking a bunch of shots, man. So he's <laughs> admitted to being scared. Mm-hmm. Foles wasn't scared at the moment. He took it. Yeah, and I remember when I was watching that game, something the coloring was off. I was watching it on the stream. Whoever's coloring was off because he was like straight pink. Like on the screen, like the something with the yeah. hue, I don't know. But does it have something to do with how he feels on the inside? Maybe, possibly. Yeah. I don't know. But I just think the Eagles are overrated. I think they work better as the underdogs, so maybe they kind of pick things up uh, later on in the year. But as of right now, they have I'm not hyped on this team. that they are second half of the season team. Yeah, they've done that in the past, but now without Nick Foles, you know, who knows? The franchise's best quarterback ever. So I actually have the Lions winning this game. And part of this is I, I originally had the Eagles because the way I make these picks is I write them all down and then I just circle them like pretty quickly. Just kind of do like a 10-second. Yeah, I remember. And 10-second, circle them, and say, this is the team I think is going to win. Because I think a lot of that, it's uh, you know an instant pick. Your gut, you're usually somewhat correct if you just go by your gut. The more you think about it, the more you change. And, you know, if, if like premonition is some kind of like dormant, sense that we have hopefully i can pick up on that you know maybe maybe there's a superpower you like see the future, a but... superpower of 
gambling. Maybe. Like, that's the hope. That you pick the them dream. quick. You pick them quick, and hopefully it just plugs your brain into you, that. You, the universe, the sun, the flowers, it's all connected. Northeast, southwest, baby. It's all connected. <laughs> I've got the picks. Exactly. I get so, that. I originally picked the Eagles, but then the more I thought about it, I'm thinking the Lions come in with the upset. And I ended up, the bet that I took on this game was... I bet the over for Lions Eagles. It was set at forty six. Six, yeah, forty six and a half. So I think I think both. I think the Lions defense is definitely underrated, but I think the Eagles defense is trash, and I can see this being a high scoring. You see Galladay, Hawkinson getting catches. Yeah, the, all they do down spreading it around. Because that seems like that's going to be their game plan. Yeah, they're up. Is Jones, Matt Stafford, Hawkinson. Galladay, Stafford just whipping around. Who's, think, yeah. who's the running back? And they have like C.J. Anderson and, oh, and uh, uh, Johnson. Carry on, and Johnson. Carry on, Johnson. Who's nice, but it doesn't seem like they're featuring him a lot so far. No, but uh, I, I just bet the over. Um, the spread was set the Eagles minus seven, so they're favorite. And I was thinking about just taking the Lions in the money line, but I just left myself plus, some room. I have plus two fifty on mine. What is yours? Uh, yeah, plus two fifty. Did you take a bet on this game? Yeah, no, I, I actually liked the over on this one, too. You also bet the over. So, yeah. it's kind of cool, because we went to different I, casinos, actually. With I a, didn't give a shit. This is one of those, again, where I was like, I, I'm i not sure who's going to win this. So, who do you, who do you have uh, winning? Well, I'll go, I'll actually go, oh, man, who else is talking to the Lions? I want to say Eagles. Going Eagles, locking it in? No. No? Going Lions, locking it in? <laughs> Can I go a tie? Yeah, you could say tie. Five, five, tie. You could say tie, just they have to tie <laughs> for you to get the point. Even though I bet the over. Um, I'll take... You know what? I bet against the I bet on the Lions the first week, bet against them last week. I'll buy my stock again. You going with the Lions as well? Yeah, I like Hawkinson to rebound from... Is week two disappointment. That guy is no. going to be up and down. He's a rookie. I get it. But they're going to pass that ball around, and him and Galladay are a nice like one, two. And like I said, I picked the Lions upon second review, but I, it makes me a little bit nervous because I started tracking team by team how how I've been picking these games. And so far with the Lions, I am 0-2 with picking their games. So and you haven't picked the Eagles once either. I can guarantee that because you were... Yeah, let's see. What, right? Uh, right? No, I... Did you pick him week one? Uh, I did not pick him last week, and the first week I picked the Eagles, yeah. We both picked the Eagles in the first week to beat the Redskins. When they came back and won that, right? But when it comes to picking the Eagles, yeah, so that makes me uh, one, one, and, one. one and one. Yeah. See, I got it listed here. Yeah, no. No, I got both of those games right. You know, not just like picking the team, but like yeah, picking yeah, their yeah, games. Exactly. <clears throat> so... We both got the lines in that one, so let's move on to the next game. I'm sure you're going to want to talk about this one a lot because it's the Jets versus the Patriots. Pretty sure you got the Jets in this one, right? Yeah, dude, I like Falk. He played uh, in the Pac-12. Everyone knows that's a very mediocre conference. He's going to come out just gunslinging it against the Belichick defense that they're probably not ready for. <laughs> <laughs> you never know, man. I mean, it is a divisional opponent, but it's like... The Jets, they I think they have a very good defense, but CJ Mosley isn't there. In the, that's in true. The show. I still do like their secondary and their defensive line, even though I think they are a little bit beat up. But I do still like their defense as a whole. Um, but their offense, man, what does it exist? Yeah. No, they they can't even get one. That's they, mono. They they don't stand a chance. That's the matchup of the game: is the Jets' offense versus the Pats' defense. Yeah, and the Patriots defense, we kind of already the pat it. the Pats are gonna get their 21, 24 points. Yeah, so what, what was the, the so spread the real, on this one was crazy too, right? Yeah, yeah. it's twenty three. So the real question in this game are are the Pats gonna cover? Yeah. And the over under is forty three and a half. I think. Fuck yeah! Why not? <laughs> they haven't Actually, shown anything to stop. <laughs> the bet I took. I took the under, and it was set at 44 at my casino. Okay. Um, I think just both defenses are going to come out swinging. So I think this is going to be a lower-scoring game. 
I think even the Patriots, they could still get 30 points, but I think the Jets' offense probably it might be 13. another shutout. Yeah, it might even just be like seven points at that, maybe six. They get two field goals on like a turnover or something. You know, something crazy will have to happen for them to, I think, get points. I think the Pats win like 45-0. Okay. So I'm taking the under, you're taking the over? Sure, yeah, hell yeah. Is that what, or is, is that I just bet on the Pats, yeah, to cover. All right, for sure, for sure. All right, so you uh, you have the Patriots. Um, so next game I have on this list is the Raiders versus the Vikings. Now, I have, the, a fun matchup I have the Raiders winning this one. I know the Vikings, they came out strong, and I thought they were meh, and they came out swinging, but then the next game, they, they didn't really produce much. And uh, Apparently, uh, what's his face? Who's their, who's their quarterback? Cousins. Yeah, Kirk Cousins, you know, the, the worst guy at the party we were talking about last week. He, uh, I guess, is one of statistically the worst quarterbacks in the entire league. I think he's like 36 of 36 available. <laughs> I think they should go back to what they did week one and not have them throw the ball. But every now and then, because clearly the running game and their defense are the strengths. Yeah, yeah, and I think both <laughs> these teams, they run the ball very well. Yeah, I so bet I think the, the Raiders go in I like, in a slugfest and come out with the victory. I actually like the Raiders to cover this because the Vikings are favored by nine on my sheet, and I, I bet the Raiders to cover that. Cover and the spread? Uh, yeah, and then... I guess I'll pick the Raiders in our... Okay. Yeah, I the bet that I took on this one uh, was... I just took the Raiders on the money line at plus 290. So if they happen to win with an upset, that would pay out it's pretty plus well. plus 315 on this, so I see that. Hell yeah. Oh, shit. Hell yeah. That's a good... I see that. So, next game on the list is game of the week, game of the year, two... Early season MVP favorites slugging it out in Kansas City. The barbecue is going to be going. The sauce is going to be flying with Lamar's legs or his passes. And so Ravens versus the Chiefs. I, I'm i Ravens fan. This is Ravens podcast. I got to pick Ravens in this one. And I think they, if they can pull this one off, they're, they're already kind of getting hyped up really heavy as being like the third team in the AFC. And I think after this one, maybe we move up into the second spot and get like Super Bowl talks and Lamar Jackson's MVP talk is going to go through the roof. Speaking of which, they got a can of Coke with Lamar's name on it. It says MVP on the side. See that. And I'm thirsty for a W. Where does it say that? Boom. Right there. That's some dude's name. <laughs> <laughs> My name's <laughs> I think that's a pretty controversial take you had there on a Ravens podcast. <laughs> mm-hmm. You're taking the Ravens yeah, take and it. they become Super Bowl favorites. <laughs> yep. Shocking. <laughs> wow. Shocking. What a doozy. <laughs> Shocking. Uh, I love the over in this. It's 53 and a half. I took the over. Okay. And I'll take the Chiefs. Okay, you're taking the Chiefs? So, but yeah. it's a tight game again. So in this game, I bet the Ravens in the money line at plus 240. And I also, on a separate bet... Uh, took the Ravens in the spread at plus seven because either way this game goes, it is going to be a really close game, I think. I, I believe both offenses are going to be able to move the ball on the defense. I just think the Ravens' defense is going to be a little bit tough on Patrick Mahomes. And I know Patrick Mahomes, he's very electric. He was the MVP last year. But, you know, he scored all those points in the second quarter. What happened the rest of the time? He put 28 points. He put 28 points on the board in the second quarter versus the Raiders, but he wasn't able to get any other points in any other quarter. And that has me a little bit uh, hyped for what the Ravens' defense can do because I believe the Ravens' defense is definitely better than the Raiders. I'm sure they'll switch things up, but you know, seeing that it, it can be done, you can stop this offense. And I, I, I think the Ravens go in to the Chiefs' home opener and come out with a W. They also score 28 and a quarter. Yeah, they also didn't score for three quarters. I get that, but like, it. I get that argument, but the, they can also just do damage so fast and so much that it, it's fucking. You have to, you have to play sixty minutes of football, and you have to get them in the first half. Plus, you, you gotta, you gotta keep it. 
if not take the lead and be up by seven in the first half, you know, four to seven. Plus, I, this is the, apparently it's going to be raining. This is going to be like a bad weather game. So I think the Ravens style with the running game, get down and dirty, defense. God, what what the Ingram Ravens have built. It's like a thousand yards. Yeah, I know. I, on a prop bet, I did separate prop bets on my boogie. And I did Mark Ingram. It was over under like 60 yards. I took the over on that. Took the over on uh, a bunch of Ravens stuff, really. So I'm just hoping the Ravens, I think, I think it will still be a shootout. I don't think it quite gets to the 54. I think... Uh, or what is it, 57 or 54? It was 53 and a half on mine. It must be 54 on yours. Okay. Yeah, e- either way, um, yeah, it's 55 on here. But Holy shit, yeah. No, I like 53 I, and a half because that's, that's... I think I think the defense has come up better than we expect. I mean, last year the game had 27-24, and that was including overtime with the Ravens. You know, basically having that win at the end, besides the Patrick Mahomes crazy... Uh, 40-yard pass on 4th and 9 to Tyreek Hill, who isn't playing in this game. Also, their starting left tackle isn't playing. You don't think that works to the offense's advantage? What? For having last year's tape on the defenses? No, it it does. But, you know, it works both ways somewhat. And I think, you know, Tyreek Hill also not playing. One of the most dynamic and fastest wide receivers in the game. And I I think that will help out any team really facing the Chiefs. Now, they have a ton of weapons, obviously. But I think... Tyreek Hill is that much more special than those guys. That uh, yeah. I think it's a it's a huge loss for him, and their left tackle too. And the Ravens lead the league in pressure on the quarterback, so I think you know we get after Mahomes. And he's still going to do stuff. He's still going to score points. This is no way going to be a shutout. Did you hear? I forget who uh, one of the sports writers called Mahomes Jackson the next Brady Manning. Yeah. And I could see, you know, once those guys leave, I could see both of these guys taking over the league. Uh, so far, Jackson's only done it in a couple games, but I've already sung his praises future. way too much. The um, future. I, I just honestly, you know, watching him play, there's no reason why I think he's going to not take a step back, but play all of a sudden just go down in the hole. I think the next five, six years, I think this could be – could be their, the dude wins. their lead. I mean, the He's 8-1 result, in the regular the res- season. The results are in the pudding, right? So, mm-hmm. And he's pudding in that. work, so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like the... I really like the over on this one. I hope they score a 1,000 points. Yeah, I hope it's high scoring, but it, I think it was the, the factor of the rain where that was like, I was like, ooh, I don't know. I think running game's going to be more involved. And the Chiefs, they don't have a good running game with all their running backs out, too. So... Either way, we'll we'll go on to the next game. Um, next on this list is Falcons versus the Colts, and I am taking the Colts in this game. I am not sure if they're favorited or not. Actually, they they are favorited versus the Falcons, but yeah, it is one and a half. It is Indianapolis, so and it was a pick 'em. Yeah, the bet that I took was the Colts at minus two and a half. And I think they went on a field goal, maybe a touchdown. Uh, I think they just cover that spread. The Falcons. You know, they're just they're, – they're not as explosive as I thought they'd be. Their defense doesn't seem as good as I thought they would be. So I'm taking the Colts in this one. Yeah, fuck the Falcons, like I said last week. I'm not mm-hmm. drinking that pudding. Even though they won, fuck that shit. Let's go Colts, and it's one and a half. I had them win one by one and a half. And Matt be Lion Ryan, so yeah. – you got the Colts I think they need to go back to the Super Bowl for me to ever bet on the Falcons again. Yeah, that's true. I mean, they they I have just kind of dropped team. off. It's an emotional know. roller coaster. Fuck them. So we'll get off that game because I think that's I don't know. It could be a close game. You never know. Falcons hey, always seem to have. Close it's a games. football game, so fuck yeah. yeah, it might be tight. Colts and Falcons, both both teams really just end up going down to the wire. Mm-hmm. Each and every game, it seems like. It's a couple of 500 teams battling it out yeah, early so in the we'll, season, so yeah, let's so, go. Let's yeah, see it. Let's see. I'm about it. So next on this list is Broncos versus the Packers in Lambeau, and I'm I'm taking the Packers in this one. The Broncos can't seem to move the ball. Joe Flacco obviously just is just king of the dunk down, or king of the drop-off, the dump it down. Just yeah. drops it down to the running yeah. backs each and every play. Third and whatever, just yeah. throw it five yards to the running back. Sure, that'll get it. That'll get you first down. No, it never does. Broncos haven't shown any life. 
And their defense, you know, is supposed to be the best part. Any reason, yeah. Apparently, uh, they only have ten quarterback pressures, and Nick Chubb and uh, Von Miller Miller. total have five quarterback hurries. Jesus, which is trash. You know, two premier pass rushers, and yet they can't seem to get to the quarterback. You know, that's interesting. And that kind of goes. You know, I've talked previously on other podcasts about how how to build a pass rush. And I don't think you do it with premier guys. I don't think you pay pass rushers pass rusher money. I think you got to build it with just a bunch of guys and then a, a, an exotic blitzing scheme or doing it with the blitz. And that's how you get to well, the quarterback. I don't. Yeah, no, I don't think uh, it's worth the spending. No. You can create a pass rush without spending. Yeah, and that you, money. you can do it by committee. Yeah. So yeah, I've like gone over the argument of like corners versus pass rush, and I pick corner every time. You know. Yeah. Um, also, yeah, but uh, they are playing the Packers, and Aaron Rodgers he likes to hold on to the ball a little bit more. And half of a, half of what a sack is is the quarterback holding on to it a little bit too long than he should. Um, this is the I think looking at the matchups, Broncos defense versus Packers offense, Packers offense win that, and then Broncos offense versus Packers defense. Packers win that. Packers defense win that. So the yeah. Packers and I think they cover by eight. Yeah, I'm trying to see what my bet was. Yeah, I took the... Actually, no, I took the Broncos at plus eight. So, wow. Going against everything I said, apparently I bet the Broncos. You know, they seem to just be in close games. I think that was my logic there. <coughs> Money um, line is minus 420 for the Packers on mine. Yeah, it's minus 400 here. Um, so, I didn't... I was thinking about taking the Packers. What? I, I, mean, I missed what you said. Get it? <laughs> no, I, I just took a hit and it was minus four twenty. Oh, okay. Yeah, I totally missed that one. <laughs> no, I feel lame as fuck. All right. No, Let's it was a Packers. good joke, bro. It was a good joke. If someone has to tell you, no, man, it, it was funny. It was funny. It was funny. It's terrible it was joke. Terrible. It was Wasn't a that funny? <laughs> no, man, it's okay. So yeah, I took the, the Broncos plus eight. I'm thinking I'm having better's remorse on that one, but hopefully it comes. Comes down as a close game, and Aaron Rodgers does something, get gets them down, and they win by a field goal. That's Broncos that's the trash. thought there. Yeah, because I still have the Packers winning that one. You said you got the Packers as well. Yeah, Broncos are trash. Broncos are indeed trash. Tony, go fuck yourself. Yeah, trash. Your team is trash. Uh, next is Dolphins Cowboys, and man, talk about an underdog. Is this the week they do it? Do they get their win against a, a roaring Cowboys team or a Dak Prescott MVP discussion? God, it would be awesome, wouldn't it? <laughs> yes. Um, I no. I hope you know I I hope I'm wrong about this one. I had the Cowboys winning, but I hope that the Dolphins come in with some sort of miracle. It's the first game yeah. Josh Rosen is starting. You know, maybe he pulls a rose out of his ass. I don't know. I'm. I would love for this to happen. I would love to lose five dollars on this. It's worth yeah, the money. Yeah, I definitely. I only bet on the Dolphins on the spread because it was like for twenty two on this one. Yeah, so I, I think like, I did the yeah. same thing. Uh, looking at it, um, no, I actually I took the under on this game at forty seven and a half. Yeah. Uh, so I I bet the under. I think uh, the Dolphins they won't score, and I think the Cowboys they they do a Cowboys thing and just choke this game. The first time they're favorited by a lot, and I think they they fuck it up. Yeah. So I, I don't know if they will, but I'm. This is more like a hoping bet. Yeah. Like I hope this happens, mm-hmm. so the football gods will accept my little bit of money and understand this is how they need to favor it. Accept my offering. Yeah, they understood football the Football gods. Who who'd you kill for this sacrifice? You know? Is that what gambling is? Are we just offering to the gods and then? I think so. Whoever gets like the most money that no one really knows the total, but they're just like somewhere watching. I think this is how this goes. I mean, it makes sense. God's a greedy bitch. Yeah. So. Damn football. A gods. greedy who? Damn you, Lombardi. All right, we're both on the both Dolphins on the covering the spread. Yeah, but the because why not? The bet I it. said was still the under. But you know, I, I I believe they do cover that spread. Twenty one. I mean, come on. Fuck yeah. Uh, so next game is Bengals versus Bills, and the Bills are two and zero oh, somehow. But they've done nothing but play in New York, and now they're this is their home opener. They're still in New York. Um, 
And they're playing a Bengals team that, you know, they started off hot, almost got the win in Seattle. Defense is trash. But got demolished by the 49ers in the next week at home. And it's Andy Dalton. At the end of the day, it's the Bengals. The Red Rocket just wasn't getting up that day. Fuck, yeah. Bills. Easily so, Bills. Yeah, you got the Bills as you got well. got the Bills on the money line. All right, so you got the Bills on the money line. I took the Bengals at plus six. I think uh, the Bills are 2-0, and oh, but not that good. So I think it's another close game. I think the Bengals lose once again by, like, one point. You know, facing a 2-0 and oh team yeah. that, yeah, is it 2-0? and oh? But, I mean, uh, so far... I mean, they- they, that's two road games, dude. They won two road games. Yeah. They're the best team in New York. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just I think it's one of those, like, yeah, they played really well outside their stadium. It could be one of those things where they just play, like, trash at home. Yeah, but have you seen Bill's Mafia? Yeah. Those guys are fucking fucked in the head. It's awesome. That's why I think it'd be perfect if he if Josh Allen plays how do you excellent. Not, how do you not go ball out for those people? Yeah. I think, like, the big Bills Mafia guy, I think he died this year, too, so they're going to do it for the homie. You got to do it for the homie. You got to win the home opener. Yeah, you'd think, but it'd be very Bills of them. You know, that's kind of so, yeah. some of these bets. There's no, like, stats or any reason. It's just, you know, I think they just uh, end up fucking this up. what the football gods in history are telling us. Yeah. That instinct. So, next game, uh, the beginning of the 4 o'clock Eastern time game, so the afternoon games... Giants versus the Buccaneers. The Buccaneers. Oh, yeah. Daniel Jones is starting. Suck. Daniel Jones, you know, who knows? He comes out spinning the ball. Uh, I, 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 I guess he's the most interesting storyline of the game, right? Yeah. And why don't the Giants just feed Saquon Barkley the ball more? Yeah, the, the Giants, they're, they're not a well-coached team. They're not a well-put-together team. They are just all over the place. I, I don't... I don't have anything good to say yeah. about him. Yeah. Um, besides, Saquon Barkley's amazing. That's, that's about it. That's, that's good for them. <laughs> good good for them. Who do, you, who do you got in this game? Oh, the Bucks. But, uh, I, yeah, I, got, I got really the Bucks too. like... Fuck the Bucks too. Like, I was buying that... I would drink that Kool-Aid. The Bruce Arians can fix everything Kool-Aid. O.J. Howard. Yeah. But, you know what's interesting is... I think uh, Chris Godwin's probably... Hey, he's good. He, I think he might be like getting more touches than Mike Evans. At uh, this he's point. played better. He in fantasy, he's been better yeah. than Mike Evans for sure. So he could be like main option on that offense. And OJ Howard needs to show up. I don't know if he's like getting two stone before games or just like <laughs> not about it. He's like nah, whatever. I don't nah, know, dude. Yeah, so you could do him, but I'd like the. Did you take a bet on this game? On the Giants Bucks, yeah, no, the Bucks, and it was six and a half on this one. Okay, you took the spread. Yeah, I bet the uh, I bet the over at forty eight. I think both defenses are trash, and I think with Daniel Jones as his first start, I think they're gonna start you know, start spinning the ball, inject new life into that offense with Saquon Barkley. Hopefully, they will the have ball. that like new quarterback fucking. Yeah. So I'm thinking they both put up points, but the Bucks end up. I like them the out. Bucks defense though, because they they've actually looked pretty all right, and I like the Godwin Evans matchup. Like if Winston just doesn't throw a pick, or yeah. less than two, less just, than two picks, just needs is, to throw less that should than be the two. over under each game. Yeah, just throw less than two, and like the team's gonna probably be in it. All right, so. Next is Panthers versus the Cardinals, and this is one trash team versus a another trash team up and coming with a new quarterback and Cam Newton now like kind of slowly but surely exiting the league. It seems like just on that downfall from last year. Yeah, in the in the animal kingdom, I'm pretty sure like a panther would like murder Cardinals, right? Nah, but the uh, Panther couldn't get his hands on it. Um, it's true. I don't know. I think, you know... I like the metaphor you're go, uh, going into but there. I, as I was thinking about it, house cats destroy birds. They fuck up a bird. They, so. like, really like fucking up bird. Like that dumb does. fucking bird that's cocky to fly a little too low. So swoop down, like, I'm gonna fuck with this, with this cat. Oh, yeah, bitch. Meow. Snap it. <laughs> Meow, motherfucker. But I, yeah. I, I'm taking the Cardinals in this game. I, I think the Cardinals' offense is better than a lot of people think. They spread people out, and it's very difficult to defend. They, 
They put up their yards. receiving core looks like legit. Like the clean, can what's his name? Kingsbury. 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 Yeah. That's what's up. He uh, so far it's shown. Yeah, no, he's fucking whipping it around. Yeah, they've been able. And to move Murray them all. looks like yeah. He, they both had a bad start, but they Growing were pains. competent. Against the fucking... A little competent, bro. Yeah, a little, Buy one, get one free. Yeah, a little <laughs> competent. <laughs> yeah, a little competent, dude. Uh, dude. Competent against the Ravens. Like, yeah, they, they were able to move the ball. Yeah, I like the Cardinals there. Yeah, they weren't able to punch it in from inside the five Because the Panthers don't Cardinals. have Cam Newton. Yeah. And, and, I mean, obviously the game plan is going to be Christian McCaffrey, it's, and I hope he puts up a ton of yards, but can he win out at his zone? Yeah, I kind of believe he can, as long as he's punting, blocking, throwing, running, doing it at all. He could probably do it, but that's tough. I heard a stat that Christian McCaffrey has been in 100% of offensive possessions or offensive plays. So he has not come out of the game. And I remember preseason or before the season started, they were talking about uh, giving him less touches, giving like spreading the ball out a little bit more. But nope, nothing but lies. Yeah. <laughs> a bunch of liars. I think teams plan on all that shit and then when that fails immediately you gotta yeah. go with your strengths right. well uh, fuck that Christian McCaffrey get out there <laughs> the coaches probably look at each other or they probably just like go on the mic They classic when they turn the mic on and the camera zooming on and you can see them turning on the side fuck. and they're like that and they, yeah no uh, McCaffrey yeah and I was thinking McCaffrey <laughs> yeah McCaffrey <laughs> Third and McCaffrey, fourth and McCaffrey, yeah, just three. just go for we'll it. Just go McCaffrey. You know I, who's their who's their backup? I don't even know. Kyle Allen, something like that. Sounds promising. Sounds like a backup quarterback. He's no Minshew. <laughs> legend. But a legend. That sounds like a backup. How, so how many backup quarterbacks are starting this week? We got Rudolph, Allen, Minshew, Minshew. started. Bridgewater. Yeah, or Taysom. They haven't announced yet. No, I think it's Bridgewater, but you know, who knows? God, they should play. play I think Taysom. I think, you know, uh, Sean Payton. I think we'll get to that game here actually in a couple picks, but uh, Sean Payton, he's going to have to do so much uh, offensively. I think he's just going to throw the kitchen sink out, and I think Taysom Hill gets a lot of snaps. But I think Bridgewater is named that guy, is the backup. But there's Tomorrow's someone else. going to be getting a lot of touches. I feel, uh, Rosen. Rosen. Um, let's see. Starting. So that's that's five. Daniel Jones. Yeah, six. That's six right there. Then there might even be more. Holy shit. Holy so, shit. So yeah. So you're the why quarterback. Are, why haven't the Redskins started Haskins yet? Because they're the Redskins. They're just behind on everything, I guess. Yeah. With the name, with everything. I mean, ever, they are DC's team. Do you ever DC's think about team. you were only 30 miles away from being a Redskins fan? No, because Redskins fan from where I'm from, every Redskins fan that I knew was white trash. All right. No. <laughs> <laughs> Synonymous. And you were classy trash or No, we mediocre? were we were recycling. Recycled trash. <laughs> Just recycled. <laughs> Just <laughs> plastic nice. bottles made from recycled Don't materials. Still trash, okay. but <laughs> yeah, still trash. <laughs> but made well. Recy- a little wash to it. No, a I little mean, prestige. Because recycled, I mean, that's kind of got some prestige to it nowadays. You know, yeah, it's got a little, hmm, a little flavor. Oh my god, that's recycled shit. Oh wow, oh, you guys recycle here? Yes, we do recycle. Put a, a, a put you, the glass in a separate bin. You don't? <laughs> wow. Yeah. No, but this is a Redskins team. They, they're the team of D.C., so it only makes sense that they're behind and they're slow with everything when it comes to making I think their sense. owner's, like, just a fuck face. Yeah, what is it? Dan, Dan Schneider. Dan Schneider, yeah. The fucking Schneikies himself. He's the worst. Yeah, he gets too involved with team activities, and he's not a good football mind, so not like a Jerry Jones, so. I think we should run it here. <laughs> Yeah, and the running back, Geis, yeah, he's out again, too. He's injured yeah. again. They, they got Adrian Peterson, but... 
we weren't even there at their game yet, but let's just get to it. What, what Wait, I'm gonna, did you did you bet on that game or Panthers Cardinals? Did you bet on that game? I think we. Uh, I couldn't bet on that game because the lines weren't out yet with uh, Cam's injury. Yeah, no, it was blank. With the Redskins. Why were we talking about the Redskins? Um, Haskins. Oh yeah. Okay. And the Redskins. Yeah, it's perfect. They're gonna be since it's the Monday night matchup. We'll have to talk about that one last. All right. So, so what's next? Uh, Steelers Forty so. Niners. All right. Fuck yeah. Uh, I have the Forty Niners winning this one. I think their offense has been proven, proving that they're they're able to do it. Uh, I think uh, Kyle Shanahan he's finally got his offensive system going. Garoppolo's looking uh, semi decent. You know, not yeah. He's putting up numbers, yeah. and I think the Steelers defense. You know, he's I know they just got competent, dude. Up. He's looking yeah. competent. This, yes, this, yeah. The Steelers—they don't look competent. They couldn't—they couldn't go camping if they tried. Like they—they they couldn't get a tent. They couldn't even. Like they wouldn't get one. They don't wake they up with boners. They can't even pitch a tent, let yeah. alone competent. So they—they they would have to pay extra. Um, I think it's—it'll be interesting. The Steelers with Rudolph. Yeah, I was thinking about taking the upset. You know, have that—that that new quarterback smell. You know, and everyone always. Balls out for the new quarterback. Yeah, I actually, this one, it was interesting. I bet the first half, uh, 49ers at three and a half. Okay. I think they do have a nice little first half lead. Uh, uh, they they look like, a, they look way better than I thought they were yeah. going to be. Now, when I, when I was thinking about it, is their second year of their rebuild was last year, right? Mm-hmm. So first year, they kind of had that... Upside, and then they had a, the shit ton of draft picks year, and this is the third year, so this is the year that we're we're gonna see it, and we're seeing it the first couple of weeks. Yeah. Finally come together. Yeah, they've, see it to come <laughs> together for the so they put the tent and down. It's, yeah, they they they've got they comp the tent. They comp the tent, <laughs> and they're out camping, and they're enjoying the party of two and zero. Oh. Would you like it's a nice. uh, Two away games too. Yeah. And I'm not a big fan of like team, teams winning on the road, but I was proven wrong by that. Bills won on the road twice to start, and, yeah. and the 49ers. So I uh, fucked myself on that theory. <laughs> God damn it, fucked myself there. Uh, I took the over, and it was set at uh, 43 and a half. I think both of these defenses aren't very good. I think the Steelers, with that new quarterback yeah. smell, they sling it all around. And I think Tomlin gives like one of the dopest hype speeches, probably yeah. like like James Brown and the Blues Brothers preacher worthy. Like football's bigger than life. And uh, and James Washington and Kyle Rudolph, they connect pretty well. They they were teammates back at OSU. Steelers are also trash. Yeah, they're trash, but I think they're gonna be able to put up points. <laughs> hype them up, hype them up. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah, I think they're. Fuck those knock guys. your tent down. Fuck those guys. So you take you the, the 49ers, 49ers, and I should have bet on them to cover the by the game, but I bet the first half covered okay. at three. So this next game, this was one that I changed my my pick on. I it's Saints versus Seahawks. I originally had the Saints, you know, at first glance, but I decided to go with the Seahawks because I saw a stat that in September. The, the Seahawks at home or something crazy like 16 and 1 or like or maybe it was just Russell Wilson but it was like something crazy like 13 and 1 and they've only lost one time yeah I, I took the uh, I also took the Seahawks and the first half line at 3 points okay yeah what is it, what is the bet they're the home to? team and they were co- they were favored by 4.5 on this one okay so I'm noticing a pattern with my picks where I'm picking a team to win but I'm taking the um the other team on the spread. So I, I took the Saints at plus five. Yeah. No, that's just like, you know who's going to win, but you think it's, it's going to be close. Tighter than, yeah. Trying to predict how the game goes. It's a risky, it's a risky bet, and, but I like it. It's fun to watch the game that way. Yeah, but I've done it like three separate times, so yeah. who knows? I like it. Who fucking knows, bro? And then like we were talking about We it, do. Like, <laughs> yeah. On dick picks. <laughs> Because I'm locking in dick pics right here. Lock in, what are we on? Seahawks? Yeah. yeah. Send that. Russell Wilson Seahawk. See, uh, I like to do it the old classic way, you know. Instead of sending it through the phone, I like to get a carrier uh, Seahawk, 
attach a, a dick pic, a little tiny dick pic, to its oh. leg and say, go That's find classy. it. That's yeah. classy. You know, it never ends up getting it's... to the right person, but you know, I'd like to brighten someone's day. So, yeah, definitely the wrong ladies or people show up to your uh, house. Yeah. It's probably going. Mark Gronchetti is probably receiving it. The Seahawk, I don't know. I'm sure he, yeah, the radar, weather radar, they picked it up. Yeah. I don't know, he was just on TV. He's the weather guy at KRQE News 13, Albuquerque, Mark Gronchetti. They should pay it. That's good advertisement there. Yeah, shout out. This is sponsored by Channel 13 uh, in Albuquerque. <laughs> Way funny. Phi Alpha, Gronkady. Yeah. Let's get it. Uh, so next game, Texans, Chargers. Both of these teams just don't ever want to win at the end of the fourth quarter. Both of them have let up so many losses and wins. Make for one hell of a fourth yeah, quarter. Yeah, so you know this one's going to be like 15 be to 14, like some weird quarter. score. Yeah. We're both, oh man, both quarterbacks are just under duress the entire time. Yeah. Just getting their ass kicked. Yeah, so I, I took the under on this one. It was set at 48 and a half, so I think I, this is going to be a low-scoring game. Yeah, I like that. Uh, I'm taking the Chargers to win this. Yeah, me too. Chargers, Phillip Eckler Rivers, and 30 kids. Rivers. That's three weeks in a row. I picked the Chargers to pick them against the Lions, I think, last week. Or who did they lose? They lost to the Lions, right? <coughs> uh, yeah, I believe so. Yeah, yes. we both got that game wrong. Of course, we picked the Chargers, but you know, pick them again. I mean, who... I like them rebound. I think they're a playoff team. I think they come back to. So we didn't pick yeah. these. We didn't pick these games together, but uh, we're only different on one game so far. <laughs> so cheers. Second, I'm gonna fucking beat you in that game. <laughs> tight. Get the one game. Uh, so we got Rams versus Browns next. Uh, I think. Both of these teams' offenses are overhyped, um, and I think the defenses are going to have their way up against a struggling O-line for both teams. But I have the Rams winning this one at in Cleveland, in Believe Land. Uh, the Rams have won the second most games the last couple years next to the Pats. I think that's a good, great call. to the Rams. You take the Rams um, as well. But I do believe in the offenses. And the over-under was set at 49, and I like that. All right. And the Rams were favored by three on mine. Uh, I took the under. It was set at 51 for me, and I took the under on that one. Uh, I, I loved what I saw from uh, who's who's that guy on the on the Browns, third defensive lineman? Garrett? Yeah, Miles Garrett. I, he just, wrecked that game. Just beat the fuck out of the Jets by himself. Yeah, and I think Aaron Donald is going to – up, up on the Browns O line, struggling O line, and Baker Mayfield's just doing nothing but throwing interceptions and being under duress. Um, so I, I have the Rams taking this one with the under as my bet. Um, Hell yeah. I, and I've never liked golf, so that's. Yeah, well, I mean, it's McVay that. Did you see that video that went around Twitter of golf just standing still? Waiting for McVay to call in what the audible should be. No. Oh man, I'll have to show it to you. So there's a legit second where he's just like, not analyzing the defense, but standing there paying attention to the audio. And okay. Then called out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's like, yeah. Uh, okay. And that so yeah, I get what you mean about not golf, but he has Cooper cut back. Yeah. They're looking nice, and Cooper like Cup I said, they they beast. they win they win games. And uh, I think they will, but... Yeah, I think they'll win this one. I just think it's going to be... The Browns, uh, <coughs> I don't know. Yeah, they beat up on the the Jets, but I, I, I still mean, don't think they look that good. If you watch the game, I they don't think they looked up. Yeah, it was yeah like they one, didn't look that plays. good. Yeah. The Jets were like within a touchdown most of the game until that... On their third and, quarterback. Yeah. yeah, so not Browns still trash. Yeah, not too, not yeah, not too hyped um, about the Browns. So last and final game, we already kind of touched on them a little bit, but the Bears versus the Redskins on Monday night. Talk about the NFL knowing how to pick primetime games. Are you fucking kidding me? How are the Ravens and Chiefs not a primetime game? But on Monday night, you got Bears, Redskins. Well, the Ravens and Chiefs suck. 
God damn we're it. We're not even going to do anything this season, so. They got goose eggs. We right? need contenders like the Bears and the Redskins. Pinero. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want my bread bowl picking it on prime time. God damn it. With Haskins sitting on the bench. What's better, what's better than watching Jay Gruden and Case Keenum go out there and show the gunslingers that they are I'm, versus I'm, Mitchell Trubisky and Matt Nagy's confused fear, like beard face? Yeah, I'm confused. I call it a fear. <laughs> I'm asking you, what is good about the Redskins? I'm asking you. But I'm taking the Redskins in this game. I like that. Over, over the Bears at home. Uh... Really, Why not? No the reason. Redskins win. <laughs> the Bears. The Bears haven't done anything on offense. Yeah. Um, Disappointing. They scored twenty, like twenty-seven, twenty-eight points a game last year, and then now yeah. they got to the end zone once so far. Yeah. The Bears are in hibernation as of right now. I don't know when Bears. They hibernate in the winter, but I think you know it came early or something. And the Redskins. I like Terry McLaurin. What he's doing. He's able to catch the ball fifty yards downfield. And score a touchdown as a rookie. Um, so I, I'm taking the Redskins in this one. What about you? Well, I think in nature a bear would destroy a human. Like a redskin, even though a redskin would put up a good fight, it's tactical in weird ways that it wouldn't expect, but the bear is a monster and has a defense that the redskin hasn't really come mm-hmm. across before. Yada, hey, cut it out. Yeah. <laughs> so I think the Bears. The Bears. Beat the Skins. <laughs> Shirts versus Skins. Um. <laughs> Bird versus Skins. Let's go right here, dude. Let's go. Claws dude. versus Bows. Let's go. Let's go. Low <laughs> Bows. Claws versus Bows. Um. Dude, speaking of Bows, tomorrow's Bows Aggies. Yeah, it's going to be a good game. I hate that we can't gamble on our local team at local casinos. Yeah, it's kind of dumb. Yeah, it's fucking really dumb. I didn't, I didn't look at the college uh, spreadsheet because I said I'm never betting on this, college again. <laughs> I get that. You, that was you so bet dumb. it all right away. Bet 100 bucks. If anyone that, ever, you money. have the best I won't ever bet college story ever. Like, they're like, no, no, dude, I'm not betting college. Like, don't be a bitch. Bet it all one time, and it fucking <laughs> temple it was is so a juggernaut bad. I didn't see coming. No, dude, they're blowing everybody out. See, I didn't realize that Temple blew them out last year. I didn't even know about that. And it was at the same time where they went 2-0. and So it was the same exact scenario, except they just lost. Dude, fourth and goal three fucking times, and they couldn't punch We're it We're talking in. about Maryland Temple. Yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> that wasn't clear, but <laughs> god damn it. Anyways, they did fucking blow it. So, yeah, they blew it so bad. It, they did not competent. So, and such bullshit. No tense, dude. No tense, man. But looking over, looking over our picks for week three, our dick picks for week three, we only have two differences. Uh, you have the Chiefs, I have the Ravens. Uh, you have the Bears, and I have the Redskins. That's that's our only two differences. And we didn't pick these games. We were actually in separate casinos, making separate bets, and going over these games. Man. So it's kind of funny how it, how it turns out. So that means we're just in for a heavy loss. Nah, bro. If you're picking like me, you're in for a W. No. Nah. We're fucked. The Jets have got to win. The Dolphins are going to win. <laughs> the Giants have got to win. Actually, this might be the easiest week of all three. Jesus, this is the easiest week. Look at this shit. Packers, Broncos. Packers. Yeah. What are what were the tough ones? The tough ones are Ravens, Chiefs. Uh, yeah. Uh, Lions, Eagles. Lions, Eagles. Yeah. Falcons, Colts. Titans, Jags was tough. Falcons, Colts. Titans, Jags was tough. To pick. With a Hall of Fame quarterback. In Minshew? Dude, your face. You're so concerned <laughs> for me. Like, like I got to have something on my face? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I can't believe you picked... You were thinking Mariota could beat a Hall of Famer. Well, it's just because the Titans... Wh- wh- who do you get with the Titans? You either get them scoring 43 or 3. Like, there's, there's no in-between. Yeah, with there them. is no in-between. But at this point, 
I think Mariota's like too passive. Yeah, he holds on to the ball too long. He's terrible at throwing too. Like watching that game, he was missing yeah. receivers left and right. Yeah, I think he's probably like cool, super cool to like kick it and go to like yeah, Hawaiian out. barbecues. Yeah, I love pineapple. But I don't know. Sometimes he just doesn't seem to have like that. Like, let's fucking go out and like win a goddamn yeah, yeah, football game. That's and not boys. his thing. Yeah, he shows. Him and Winston oh, been okay. real uh, disappointment. Real disappointment. <laughs> no, just disappointment. <laughs> it's fucking uh, been quite the bummer. This this podcast is brought to you by <laughs> Tents. <Yeah. laughs> who is competent? Who is a disappointment? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like when you put up a tent, and it's like it's a process. It's fucking annoying, and then when you get in. There's only enough space for you to like kind of lay out and yeah, then you're a out, book. <laughs> it's cold. It's usually damp because you're out in the forest. I don't know. Well, I like camping in tents. I'm just talking about specific shitty tent. <laughs> tent design. <laughs> yeah. T- <laughs> Your tent design sucks. Exactly, like, the yeah. strings involved, and I gotta get a hammer. Like what? Yeah, some of them do. They've gotten better, but it can be a shit. So do you have like a? A dick of the week? A yeah. lock of the week? Dude, well, yeah. Outside of, we can't go Jets, Patriots, or Dolphins, Cowboys. Okay, alright. Yeah. Um, <coughs> I definitely like the Seahawks at home. Seahawks over the Saints? Yeah. Seahawks over the Saints, I think that's a pretty nice win. So, I think my dick pick of the week is going to be the Cardinals over the Panthers. You know, it's like 10.30, you know, late, not too late. Uh, she sends me a text that says, you up? So I'm like, oh. She's asking me if I'm up. So she's already ready. And I tell her, oh, I'm up, so I'm here to send a picture, here to send her a dick pic. And I feel like I can be a little bit more risky. And it's just Christian McCaffrey's face. Yeah, and so... And not I actually think- your dick. <laughs> So You're getting I, bold. Because he's a dick, all right? <laughs> he seems like a nice guy, I don't know. He's but he's a white running back, fuck. so yeah. who he's knows? He's fuck. probably a freak. But either way, I, I feel like it's a, a little bit out there to say the Cardinals are going to win, but I think this is kind of a lock. I, I think the Panthers are just kind of a dumpster fire right now. We'll hear next week and see uh, how trash this take is. But Okay, okay, all right. So I, I think on here... I'm counting one, two, three dumpster fires, four dumpster fires, and then who else did you say is a dumpster fire just now? Panthers. Panthers. That's an Steelers. I think that's a. I think that's a soft fire. Steelers. (laughs) Dumpster fire level. So I've got one, two. Three, four, five, six fires going on around this league right now. Yeah, and it's like somehow the Dolphins are just overtaking all of them in fire. Level. And 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 uh, going by them Broncos, I think that's um a sl- not quite a. They don't just even realize they're on fire. Yet. They don't even realize they don't it. know they're on fire yet. They like, but to it's take kind hit. of hot. It's kind of fucking a little hot. Medium. Do you guys burn. smell burning hair? Like yeah. they haven't even realized yet. I think, um, I think Jets. Fire. Unfortunately, on fire, even though a sneaky wild card pick three weeks ago. Yeah, what the hell happened to that? I think on everyone. On fire, dude. I think that's it just is on fire. The New York market getting to everybody. A lot of those, uh, like, well, they got media, Le'Veon, in, they got signings. The Arnold was going to take the step. Like, they've done the, they've done the right moves the last couple of years. Yeah, I mean, and then you realize it's the fucking Jets, but they're New Jersey. It's team. the goddamn Jets, I'm and they're all of a sudden kind of a fucking fire, trash, fucking dumpster fire. Would you fire. consider the Bengals? I was looking at the Bengals. I'm gonna hold off one more week. Yeah, I see so, a smolder. I'm gonna put a little smoke signal next to them. They're smoldering, mm-hmm. and we're gonna check up on these fires next week. And fire so, isn't awesome. It's not a good thing. Right, because you know, so you go, that not shit's in sports, fire. not that in shit's most fire. things. Yeah, no, 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 they are 
on this is the dumpster fire. Honey, my she shit's burning. <laughs> honey, my <laughs> shit's on fire. Good thing you got State Farm. My dick, it's on fire. That's not good. There's plenty of times fire. Speaking bad. of the Bengals are on dick fire. Picks, these are the herpes, basically, of the. They're yeah, burning the league. It's interesting. They're burning my dick pics. Yeah, it's interesting how many dumpster fires there are around the league. Like, you'd think, like, there's the way the league is set up, everything's it, supposed though. to be closer. Uh, right? I love it because a couple of weeks be ago, everyone started at zero. Yeah. And like that, we can already see where, where the fires are starting. And when give up fire now, starts two weeks to burn, in, give up. starts to spread. Yeah. All right. The Panthers. You're saying a little bit of fire. Yeah, not I think with good with Cam Newton, I think they not they should good. have enough playmakers to contend even without Cam Newton. But I think it's more of the coaching that goes into the Panthers' fire. You know, I not I don't a Ron Rivera guy anymore. I think it's time for a change. I don't. Well, something's not working. Yeah. Obviously, I and think it's not it's all that. Cam Newton. Yeah. I mean, your quarterback. They have a lot of weapons everywhere throughout that team. Offensive, defensive, they have a lot of Pro Bowl playmaker type guys. They have, like I've and said, have, they still can't. Have do we it. mentioned this dude Christian McCaffrey on the podcast yet? No, the running back, right? Yeah, no, 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 yeah. That dude can compete <laughs> more than anybody I know. The dude works at the tent store, basically. He looks like it. Hi, he welcome has to REI. The like, he has. <laughs> he's the one comping it for everyone yeah, on the Panthers. The, the fantasy competent. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of a fire going on there. And then but, I've also got the Steelers instead yeah. of fire. Uh, they already let a bunch of talent go. And you think as a storied franchise... Is that fire okay, burning but... uh, Tomlin's nice little seat he's got? See, I don't, I don't think so. A hot seat. See, I think, you know, before the season they were saying, oh, addition by subtraction. And now that they're playing trash, I think Tomlin's got an out. And everyone and in the fan base and around... The league is gonna say, "Oh, well, you got rid of your best players. No wonder you're not bad." It's not Tomlin, but I mean, at some point, they bail them out. Yeah, the, it, I think it's like a built-in excuse, you know, them thinking, "Oh, they're gonna be better because of that." But you know, with them getting rid of Le'Veon Bell and Antonio, it's a built-in excuse for Tomlin. I think they need to ask themselves if they'll ever be the Patriots, and the fact is, Tomlin can't no. be Belichick. It's, it's proven. I also think. The Steelers are much like the uh, Giants where they don't get rid of coaches. And say he goes 8-8 eight and eight with uh, Rudolph. Yeah. I mean, like, I wouldn't be surprised. Something like that. It, that's a win, and he probably gets extended. Probably, he'll probably be extended. Like a late season surge, kind of? He'll be there forever after this season. Yeah. See, Unless it dumpster fires, which I'm hoping... And it burns. Because honestly, everyone was hyping up Juju, Connor. They're not Le'Veon Bell Brown. No. no. And who's their number two? Who's their number two now? They're just guys on the pocket. Washington. The that's all. Washington but, and. Uh, I don't even know. Mon- Moncrief, they're playing like ass. Yeah. Mon- terrible. Moncrief disappointment. Dropping everything. Yeah. And then the guy they got in the draft, I think he's playing all right. But I mean, they still. It's if everyone's not already Bell. just covering up on Juju, they really limited. Yeah, I mean, the guys they have, they're just on a popular franchise, and that's why everyone knows their name. But I mean, if they if they were on like a like a Dolphins team, everyone would be like, oh well, now you're, you're trash or. Mm-hmm. Either way, so like going to the other side of things, you know, not dumpster fires, uh, the the good teams. Something that I'm noticing is that the AFC has some dominant teams, and the NFC, there's question marks when it comes to the top. Uh, like I think you got in the AFC, the Patriots obviously number one, and I think after this week, the Chiefs and the Ravens. I think after this game, both of them are still going to be in the top. As like AFC contenders, and I think there's a step down from that. But like looking over on the NFC side, the Rams are still the number one, right? And even with them, I have tons of questions about that team. I don't think they're a dominating number one, you know. And then after that, who else? Like the 49ers, maybe? Cowboys. Oh yeah, Cowboys. 49ers. But I think Vikings. I, I think the NFC. I think the AFC's taken over. Vikings, if they if if 
Kirk Cousins doesn't blow games for them. That team has defense and running game. Which is and what plays in December. In January. Game. That's true. I think that team's gonna be tough actually. Plus I just love their coach. He's just a fucking football coach that doesn't give a shit how they win. Dalvin Cook's nice. Yeah, Dalvin Cook's been looking good. I mean if he stays healthy. If he stays healthy, please. Please. I've been praying for those knees and I don't even pray. But I mean, would you agree that the AFC is definitely stronger than the NFC? Um, looking at it. I mean, I'm biased because I'm a Ravens fan, and finally my team is in that discussion now. With Lamar Jackson, baby. I, don't know. I think it looks pretty even so far. I think three and three. Okay. I think um, these dudes get you know big tents at a cheap price. Comp a hell of a tent, dude. <laughs> they can fuck they're comp a tent. Comp a tent, bro. I think in the AFC you already covered it. Ravens, Chiefs, Pats. Yeah. Those but are the I think, three I think those are the top three in the whole league. Like, they they might be. They I, they legit might be. Uh other three, I, I still think you gotta throw the Chargers in a little bit as a dark horse in the AFC. I just but don't know in the NFC, obviously Rams. I think you gotta like the Cowboys. I think you gotta like the Seahawks. And, and those so are my I think three right there. In the NFC, I think it goes Cowboys one. And then I think Rams two. The um, obvious maybe heavy, even 49ers two. The way they've been playing. Honorable, yeah. I think they definitely gotta be. They, in they've there been blowing too. everyone out. Yeah, and it's. Like we were saying earlier, finally the year that it's all come together, you gotta kind of buy 49ers stock, and I think it's easy to buy the best team in the league. I mean, I don't know how they're gonna be stopped. You got Minshew uh, coming in at number four in the AFC, the Jaguars. You never know. Leonard Fournette did not look good on Thursday Night Football. He had the one run, but he had like negative yards like all game. He's looking like a bust. Um, not like a bust because he's had he's had that good season. He's been all right, but yeah. his speed isn't there anymore. It's just like he was yeah. he was hyped up as you know. Oh yeah, like but he was downhill runner. He wasn't he yeah. wasn't anything other than that. They took him what number two three. But he was high. Yeah, it was it was really high. I think it was. Three. <coughs> um, they thought he was Zeke. Yeah, nope. but doesn't matter. They have. Uh, Best quarterbacks. The of man, all time. the myth, the legend. The man, the myth, the chew. He's like the new Kyle Orton. <laughs> Better. <laughs> Better. New and improved, upgraded version. But uh, so I wanna I wanna talk about your guy, Antonio Brown, as a Patriots fan. What the hell's going on? Was there like another accusation? Like, cause they just decided to cut him today. Yeah, uh he is dumb. <laughs> Hot take. <laughs> yeah. uh, take while this investigation has been going on, and while he's been with the Pats the last like thirteen days or whatever, he sent like a group text with his like lawyers, and uh, but tagged the chick that's like suing him, and that's oh like a God. major violation. You can't be talking to the person you're going up of against. Obvious the shit. And I think Kraft and Belichick just kind of looked at each other like, this guy is this, this dude. Fucking, hey man, no wonder. Yeah, not worth it anymore. Dude, it, it's going to be with the all-time great what-ifs. It was going to be the greatest team ever. Does he play this year, do you think? On another team? Dude, if they can't handle his shit. I mean, the league, think- the league this ha- they, they have to be backing out knowing that there's enough evidence at this point that this dude is going to be in legit serious trouble and we can't be associated with shitheads like that. Sexual sexual assault's not cool. Did you did you read like the incident report? Mm-mm. So apparently <laughs> he did like a classic like thing from a movie or something. I don't know. It seemed like, yeah, come on, yeah, come and train me and then he just like Answered the door naked. I mean, that's not what he did. I think it was something like training, like exposed and then like came on her back apparently. 
like just was jerking off while she was stretching or something. That honestly sounds very plausible. <laughs> like a rich dude hiring a hot chick to do something opens the door naked. Oh, I didn't know you were coming today. <laughs> like some shit like that. I think that dude is so crazy that that dude. That, that makes perfect sense. Dude, that perfect hit, man. And they went to college together, too, so there's a lot of history, and I don't want to comment too much yeah. on it and, like, say who's doing what. I'm sure he was doing, like, what rich people, rich athletes would what do I, for I ages, can, but now you can't do it. confused by the timing of all of this. Yeah. Why when he went on the Pats? That's my Pats fan conspiracy no, and theory. I, I, like, I, and I'm with you. I, I think. Like, this shit's been hacked. No one's known about this shit. And listen, in the report... It comes out two days after he signs? What the fuck, man? Like, in the report, it was something she... But it's not cool, because it might be true. Yeah, she had been working with him, and they knew each other from college, and she had been working... So there's history here, right? And she had been working with him, and apparently he was acting inappropriately. Obviously, a rich athlete trying to fuck this chick. So he was being inappropriate. And so she got uncomfortable and said, I'm not working with you anymore. And then went back to whatever state she's from. And then AB's calling her saying, hey, I can't train without you, blah, blah, blah. And then she comes back and, like, works with him again. Comes back. So, <laughs> literally. Well, he comes back. Mm-hmm. So she came back to get back home. Jesus. Like, I, No wonder she's suing. I would, too. I just find it like, what is this chick doing when you have all this inappropriate stuff going on around you? Why would you think all of a sudden he's going to change? I'm not saying what he did was okay, but it's like, why would you, you allowed it to happen? But that's also as a guy, as a white male, <laughs> I, yeah, I'm, I'm no, that, not allowed to it's comment. pretty so. harsh fuck. <laughs> I, can, I don't know. I get that. I, I, but I it's don't also, I don't... That. I don't get any of that situation because that's so far beyond our there, years. Like, I mean, oftentimes when I go to the gym and I'm working out with a female, I like to, to come on their backs. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. just the way I like to do things. It loosens up the groin muscles. Yeah. I, I like to pitch a tent before I comp a tent. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you enjoy spending. <laughs> I love jail time. The jail time is just. I love the, it. <laughs> Oh, there's Steven underrated. again. Underrated. Oh, there's Steven. It's just a fun family time we're having. It. Was it you who there's showed Steve. me that video of the dude jerking off in the gym? Oh, yeah, that Trying fucking to hide creep. It. <laughs> it was the creepiest See, thing. Oh, imagine dude, that but, being Antonio Brown. Oh, that's, that's basically so creepy. And at, a, at his own gym. Yeah. Yeah. I'm starting to think... Oh, this is fucked up. This is going to bring it, but it's a Ravens podcast. Ray Rice in the video, like hell of how a, much, hell of a hook. <laughs> dude, the evidence, like, and just how much that carries. Once you see it, like, I gotta, see, I gotta see AB coming on the back before I take it. Yeah, seriously. exactly. You know what I mean? <laughs> I gotta see the videotape. Check the tape. Well, like, 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 because now that I'm thinking about like that dude jerking off in the gym, like, is so weird and gross. And if that's what he's doing, why do I need to, like, see a video for but me to be like, Yeah. You but know they, what I mean? But the thing is, they've definitely been involved. There's a lot of history, because they knew each other from college, and they were in, like... I don't know if they were a straight-up couple, but it's, it seems like they were... I'm suspicious as fuck all around, but you know what? The Pats, uh, I forget uh, who on Twitter mentioned it, but they went from being 23 point favorites to being 23 point favorites with and without him so I makes mean, no I think that's more on just the Jets being that bad that bad but, but the point being he doesn't move the line for them no cause they still have Gordon cause still if have Josh he Gordon. was on I hate to say it, any of the other 31 teams <coughs> that's potentially a point or something right like that's and, an elite yeah. Elite wide receiver. And something interesting, uh, the Ravens rookie wide receiver, Marquise Brown, who's Antonio Brown's cousin, is actually involved in this case because he apparently is a witness. So I guess he was there while he was doing this stuff. And so he is involved in this, you know, not in a negative way. He was just happened to be there, I guess. 
Training yeah. with his cousin? Yeah. So, just hanging Whose cub is it? <laughs> just hanging out watching your cousin jerk off on her back. I guess. I, hey, get it, cuz. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm doing one of those. Just doing just what homies do. So that, that was I very didn't know about this information. Yeah, I found about I found this out like a couple days ago. Guilty. <laughs> Guilty. He did it. <laughs> Guilty. Antonio Brown, bring come on back. <laughs> Sign him up. This Sign is bullshit. So, do you think he plays this year? Because I, I don't think a team's gonna want to risk it at this point. I think it's gonna happen. He's gonna have to sit out this whole year. Maybe next year the Dolphins come knocking. <laughs> Could be looking at jail time. How this all goes? That's like, true. I didn't even... the, the, this is all like crazy on the. I was figuring like, this stuff just gets settled outside like, of court. If the, it was that. That would have been done, I think, months ago or in the beginning, because this was all years ago. We're like in 18 and 17. Like, if this would have been out of court shit, he would have just settled it. Yeah, Kept that's it what, see, that's what I thought was would have happened with this kind of stuff. That's know? why it's all they, interesting. They the want to make noise of it, for the Patriots. Everything. The league just hates the Patriots. Think about a part of me. I'm so torn on this because a part of me is like, this dude could be a total piece of shit. Trying to or is he a, innocent and is everyone after the Patriots and they're bringing us down in ways that we aren't even ready for yet and we have to fucking counterattack? You think Belichick would be ahead of the curve? <laughs> no, no. I think now we have to really crush the league. He's just I think he's angrier than ever year ever, slash like happier. I don't know if that makes sense. I, I'm trying to think of a pun with deflate gate, because it's I don't know, like when you come and deflate and take, gate, I don't know. Tunk gate, take it, brown gate, tug gate. <laughs> well, you know my name in the league is uh, Antonio Nut Brown Ale. Oh, uh, okay. Nut gate. <laughs> yeah, nut gate, nut brown ale gate. I don't know, nut brown. Do you guys wait? But did you, you notice what brown? my logo was? I Only uh, one percent. The orchids of Asia logo. I don't know what that is. That's the massage parlor Robert oh. Kraft went to. <laughs> what if this chick worked there, and that's why she's, it's all connected? Oh, so, Pats are four and zero since he's been to Orchids of Asia. These are the stats that the people aren't talking. The numbers about. don't the lie. lie. <laughs> like everyone's worried about fucking QBR. What whorehouses are your owners going to? And what's the record since they've been going there? Or what girlfriends do they have? I don't know. Steve Bashotti? I don't know nothing about the guy. We shouldn't be worried about we all should. these numbers. We should look into this. The nu- it's in the numbers, Stephen. Where does your <laughs> yeah. owner go? Why are we betting on the teams and the players in like the normal actual stats? We yeah. have to be looking into how these... Who's got the most ghetto whorehouses? Yeah. Probably the Lions in Detroit. No, that's why they started off. That's high. an easy. That's an easy. That's too easy. <laughs> they started off high. I I think the easy picks are. I'm skipping lines in Atlanta. Let's <laughs> get creative. You know, um, San Diego. I can see that. I Jacksonville. See oh my oh, god. god. Yeah. Oh, oh. dude. dude the but, H- yeah. The HPV oh. city. Woo. Like. I guarantee Robert The Dolphins, Kraft. too? I bet Florida. he probably has been to four or five <coughs> Jacksonville whorehouses. Anywhere in Florida, really. So the he Bucks, likes the, Dolphins. He's kind of into, like, the, like, because he's a billionaire, he likes the cheap whores. I don't know. It probably gets him off, too, being around the cheaper, not splurging. The credit cards, you know. Why do you think he's rich? He saves yeah, his pennies. Save the, he's save he's the money. smart with his money. Smart with the money. Probably Duh. flew a private jet there. Yeah, that's what's, but he's practical. that's what's so funny about this whole thing. How did he get there? Yeah, like, he got a fucking limo. You know those things that, like, the kings in the old days, a bunch of people lifting up this carriage, and he's just floating into this trash whorehouse yeah. behind a dumpster fire, yeah. like the Dolphins in Miami or whatever mm-hmm. it is. Where is this place? <laughs> um, Sleeper pick would be uh, Cincinnati. Oh, yeah. That would oh, be, the oh. Saints. Big girls. Dude, the big girls. Saints. Dude, that would be a nice one, yeah. Also, the big girls. The flooded whorehouse? Just big girls. You ever go to Katrina's? A lot of <laughs> trannies and big girls. Dude, they love the trannies down there. I don't know. Oh. I, I just imagine. I don't know why we didn't, didn't. This is an obvious. I don't know if this is an obvious one. I've never been there. But I'm thinking San Francisco. 
wouldn't be a solid place for the Simone. There's like have whorehouses. Yeah, like Silicon Valley. But like free spirited, yeah. But like they would probably actually because of Silicon Valley, they'd like it would their be sleeves. bougie. Yeah. No, they, no, it would be like fancy app. Okay. Like there's an app somewhere you can download to fucking figure this Everyone's all out. Everyone's rocking turtlenecks. Yeah. Like. Uber sluts, whatever it is. Uber. It's actually Uber Eats, but it's the different. But it's Uber <laughs> Eats. Yeah. With the legacy. Uber Eats. Eats. Some pussy. <laughs> Come on down and pitch a tent at Uber Eats. Come a tent. It's just with two B's or something. <laughs> yeah. Double B's. Yeah. Triple D's. And Uber Eats and then the boobs are right there. <laughs> Boom. There's the logo. Guaranteed. All right. So that I think those are pretty good picks. Definitely the probably lamest. I mean the Giants. What's New the York, worst? New what's York the last New York place? Track. Yeah, it's got to be in New York. You think like. Worst whorehouses of all 32 teams has got to be New York. Uh, ooh, another good one though. DC? Yeah, DC. DC. I, think they I would have just, some good, I just saw I think DC. they have some good Because the political whore ones, dude, dude, notorious yes, they, for the they strip know. clubs and whorehouses. And they have every single flavor. Because all the fucking foreigners, like, and drop Saudi Arabian oil money. And everywhere. kids. Yeah. And. Exactly. Yeah, I think I think DC's takes the cake with. I think that. worst pick, worst in the league's got to be Tennessee. They're too focused on country music. Mm. Yeah, they're like, nice simple folk. Like the Colts. They're good they, simple folk. They Indianapolis grow too much corn there. They Indianapolis. Nice. Simple Praise folk. Jesus and luck. They don't want to fuck. The luck is they're gone. too like busy eating and farming. Like the Chiefs, Cowboys. Fucking the isn't Chiefs. really on their mind. Nice simple people. Chiefs uh, have too much barbecue, I guess. Yeah. The yeah. Vikings. Uh, so, like, they're the real, anywhere Midwestern. Mid- uh, we're, we're definitely identifying where the, um, let's say, uh, Denver? Methier whorehouses. I mean, Denver I like actually is Denver's nice, on the like, up and up now. That's a, yeah, a lot, of, a lot it, of potheads. Dude, Denver's status as a city in the United States has like jumped up spots and, and in this country. They have a huge fan base too. Like the whole Southwest yeah. is kind of theirs. Yeah. NBI definitely Green Bay. I doubt has anything good. Yeah. Philly. The, the Bills. Yeah. Pass. Pass yeah. on anything coming out of Philly. The Bills. Buffalo. The Buffalo. Cold winter cities like this where they're covered up like they don't co- got anything like coats. <laughs> yeah, no. they're basically Canada, right? Yeah. Pass. Basically, north versus south. This is kind of what it We've is. We've definitely identified where the region's near water. All right, Oakland. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, slash, and this actually might swing them all the way to the top, Vegas. Yeah, dude. I think Vegas has the... Is it Oakland the best, has to... The I mean, best the or worst houses. How are, we, the, how are we defining this again? <laughs> Trashy just like yeah, I'm, uh, just <laughs> identifying like, the, the most vibes, like, the, the vibes of the whorehouses and how we would draft them and rank them, and we're kind of identifying the real winners here and like, losers. Least windows per whorehouse. Yeah. Is that what? If we are ranking the league via like the whorehouses of the region and city, you Which, know, I'm saying Titans are probably last in the league. Yeah. I'm thinking. Easily now, the Raiders are going to be first in the league. Yeah, they're yeah. easy overall, number one overall pick. Slash, uh, we we're talking, what was the I think other like the really Dolphins, good one? Miami. I was going to say Dolphins. Still runs through that place. Number two, great one. 49ers, number three, if you like a bougie hooker. Yeah. I think um, Cowboys, you know, it's a. Dallas is a nice city, but it's still also Yeehaw. southern and kind of fucking country. Yeah, you know, if you want like triple K's, like tits, that can crush Everything's a can. Everything's bigger. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And LA. I mean, do you think LA has some good whorehouses? You know, LA's got all sorts of money. So you're talking LA. Chargers and Rams. I don't know if they have good whorehouses, but they have the best drugs. I mean, I haven't gone there to their so, whorehouse yet, but <laughs> they, I'm sure they have the best drugs. So. I bet they have the douchiest parties. Yeah. I don't know, 49ers? I Silicon think, Valley? Yeah. I think they're they have credit card hookers off an app. Like I was saying. Blue chip. Yeah. 
Big star. Top five pick. All right, well, this Top has gone off pick. the rails. Yeah. <laughs> this has gone way off the rails on dick picks. Talking about whorehouses, pitch intense, comp intense. <laughs> All right, let's close it out like we did last week with the yes moment. The yes the moment. It's oh, got to be Pinheiro, dude. Dude. Yes. Yes. Winning money at the last, after losing money and winning money in a minute. Oh. Oh. The, yes. Or I'll great. take one from this week. Gardner Minshew coming through and chewing, chewing, chewing up the competition. And that one, I, I kind of <coughs> dig. Um, there was, um, what was another? There was another really good game last week. I'm looking at all. Um, yes. See, none of the other games that won, I didn't really care about. I guess, personal note, definitely the Patriots covering was a yes moment. And I was going to say Antonio Brown getting a touchdown, but that's kind of not but cool. But now no. there's a whole new meaning yeah. behind touchdown. Like, dude, yeah. But that was a yes moment came, of the week, dude. He saw, he conquered. Like, they looked, dude, for, for one game... We were all very lucky to see the best football team ever assembled at any moment in time. It oh doesn't matter God. if they win or lose. You need to calm down. They showed what they greatness They just went was. to EB because they're like, we ain't going to have it for long. Let's just throw it to just them. Throw, throw it up. up. Why throw not? It up. Throw it up. We got a glimpse. We just got it. The football goods took it away from us because it was too good, Steven. Just the tip. It was too good. And he, he decided to take more than just the tip. tip. And that's and why he took he's it in away. Trouble. And that's yeah, why and he's Now he's got to get the fuck out of town. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, our owner is in trouble for prostitution. You know this guy's got to really fuck up if you can't be on this team. So like, Bill like, like, you cool for taking Our standards AP? are really, uh, are you talented? <laughs> can you shut the fuck up? Yeah, unique. Unique standards. Unique set of skills that can apply and help the team. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly that. All but right, I well, guess... Yeah, Panero I, with the win, best moment of the week by far. I think that's going to do it for uh, Dick Picks Week 3. Uh, once again, uh, overall, I am 20 and 12. Nice. So 2012, you know, the year that we were all yeah, supposed to die. The year right. I graduated high school, so. <clears throat> and you are... Should be 500. Yeah, you're 500 exactly. So how many games were there? Is that 16 and 16? Mm-hmm. So... Hopefully with this week you can I like maybe that because a up. couple of teams fucked up and fucked me there at the end. I still like my picks. I would have stand by them again. <laughs> I'm going to stand right. by my picks. So that's going to do Even my it. losses. Thanks for uh, listening. Sorry that got off the rails. But hey, rank your whorehouses by city in the <laughs> yeah. comment section if you can. Yeah. Let us know. <laughs> let, let us know because, you know, we love to travel the great United States of America going from whorehouse to whorehouse. House. Yeah, neither have I. I'm <laughs> making very I wonder, presumptuous. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I wonder, like, how many times you accidentally, like, walk by one? Like, just walk by one without even knowing? All the time. Like, how many weird doors have you seen? Like, what's going no, on no, behind no. that door? It's like a massage place with an open sign yes. that I would walk by and I never once saw a car out front. Any massage parlor with the with the white sign with red lettering that says yeah. massage, they will jerk yeah. your dick. Yeah. I don't know if that's true, or just but they used to be a sponsor. Dope la- money laundry scheme. They actually used to be a sponsor of my uh, podcast, the uh, the massage parlor, the white sign with red lettering massage parlor guys. We should look into getting t-shirts sponsored with them with the dick pics, mm-hmm. but like get a, like our closest friend named Richard. If not, we'll find a stranger, and it'll be hilarious because then you can like. Yeah, Rich Eisen should change his no his yeah. show to the Dick Eisen show. Dick Eisen <laughs> show, that's fucking awesome. Have they be on every? We week. need to figure out. Let's send him a letter. Do they? Do they think they open letters? Fan mail. He's old. Yeah, they might. <laughs> they might. <laughs> Anyways, that's gonna do it. Uh, thanks for listening. List your whorehouses in the comments section. Like it, subscribe, all that fun stuff. So thanks for listening and pop pop. Uh, yeah, pop pop. <laughs>